David Goodstein, Out of Gas, The End of the Age of Oil. Get ready to dive into the intriguing world of oil, its history, and the imminent challenges it poses as we approach the end of the age of oil. In the book's summary of A Out of Gas, The End of the Age of Oil, written by David Goodstein, we'll explore the predictions surrounding the peak and decline of global oil supply, and how it will affect economies worldwide. Additionally, we'll delve into a range of alternative energy sources and assess their viability in filling the impending energy gap. This summary provides a stimulating appraisal of our current lifestyle's reliance on fossil fuels and the urgent need to find sustainable energy solutions sooner rather than later. The History of Oil Oil had little use until Drake drilled the world's first oil well in 1859, which sparked the demand for it. Coal oil refineries replaced coal with oil, and in 1861, Nikolaus Otto invented the first gasoline engine. Since then, over 50,000 oil fields have been discovered. There is a pressing question, however, about whether there's enough oil to meet global needs, and this answer goes back to a geophysicist named M. King Hubbard, who raised concerns about running out of cheap, conventionally produced oil in the 1950s. A Dower Prediction in the 1950s, geologist M. King Hubbard predicted that U.S. oil production would peak around 1970 and decline consistently. His calculation assumed a bell-shaped curve for oil production, which enabled him to predict the point at which oil production would reach its all-time height, now known as Hubbard's Peak. He also predicted that oil consumption would follow the curve of oil discovery by about two decades, which would signal the beginning of the inevitable oil supply decline. Today, oil companies and geologists rely on Hubbard's techniques to project oil production and supply globally. The math is clear, oil consumption must peak in the next decade due to reduced supplies. The solution is alternative fuel sources, which include nuclear, solar, fusion, fission, geothermal, among others. However, the question remains whether these sources can fill the gap between total energy needs and dwindling petroleum supply. A clean and safe energy option. Nuclear energy is often feared, but the reality is that man-made nuclear energy is what many people are afraid of. The worst nuclear accident in history took place at Chernobyl, resulting in 31 immediate deaths. However, nuclear fission is still the cleanest, most practical, and safest form of energy available today. Despite the need to find a way to dispose of spent nuclear fuel rods, it is important to recognize that humans are making very poor use of the natural nuclear energy from the sun. In fact, from 1850 to 1900, over 100,000 men died in England's coal mines. The Science Behind Electromagnetic Induction In 1831, Michael Faraday went from a bookbinder's apprentice to one of Europe's most significant scientists after attending chemist Humphrey Davies' lectures. He discovered that a passing magnet through a copper wire generates an electric current, now called electromagnetic induction. This process is the primary method of energy generation using turbines to propel a coil of wire in a magnetic field. Faraday's scientific breakthrough changed the world and had an incredible impact on modern technology. Climate change, a threat to life. Carbon dioxide emission from burning coal is having a more significant negative impact on the global climate. Human activities have caused a notable increase in the gas concentration in the atmosphere, leading to a gradual rise in temperature and melting of polar ice caps. This effect can cause a further warming, leading to worsening of the heat retention problem and more evaporation. Despite the expected doubling of carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere, the ultimate outcome is challenging to predict. The need for the gradual improvement of existing technologies is critical in halting the fuel crisis. Alternatives to Petroleum The challenge with alternatives to petroleum, such as shale oil and coal, is that they are net energy losers, requiring more energy to extract and use than they produce while also causing significant environmental harm. To overcome this challenge, some proposed solutions include suspending a giant parasol in space to absorb some of the sun's radiation, 
removing carbon dioxide directly from the atmosphere and pumping it into the ocean floor, and increasing reliance on nuclear power. However, these proposals are not without flaws and may have unforeseen ecological side effects. Considering the potential consequences, the question remains, can we get to a future that sustains human life? Powering the future Nuclear fusion, solar power, and energy-efficient devices are all viable options for a sustainable future. Although man-made fusion only recovers 50% of the energy put in, it is still a promising source. While solar power has potential, it would require a massive infrastructure to meet energy needs. Improving current technology, however, is a feasible approach. By developing more energy-efficient devices, we can better utilize the resources we have and move towards a sustainable future. The need to ditch fossil fuels The world's increasing demand for oil cannot be met, even with a significant oil discovery. Civilization must find a way to end its reliance on fossil fuels, or it will cease to exist. The West should reduce its dependence on fossil fuels as it makes them vulnerable to political events. The burning of fossil fuels causes permanent damage to the environment. To avoid an 18th century lifestyle, individuals must adopt other energy sources now. The future requires planning for a transition to a world without cheap oil, where the marketplace and centralized governments should not be the sole decision makers. The world's rapidly increasing demand for oil is outpacing discoveries, making it evident that civilization must find alternative sources of energy. Even with a massive oil discovery, the global demand for petroleum continues to rise, and China is just beginning to develop a taste for oil. Continuously increasing demand is not sustainable, and Western society must reduce its dependence on fossil fuels. Relying on fossil fuels makes the West susceptible to political instability in other regions of the world. Furthermore, the burning of fossil fuels is immensely harmful to the environment, which increases the risk of permanent damage. The world must transition to different energy sources to avoid regressing to an 18th century lifestyle. Making this switch now would be simpler before petroleum runs out, and the marketplace and centralized governments should not be the sole decision makers. To ensure a thriving future, those who have consumed Earth's legacy of cheap oil must provide for a world without it. To sum up, Out of Gas, The End of the Age of Oil presents a compelling case for the predicted peak and decline in global oil consumption within the next decade. It is vital to acknowledge the need for a shift towards alternative energy sources, such as nuclear, solar, fusion, and geothermal power, in order to bridge the widening gap between the world's energy needs and the dwindling petroleum supplies. David Goodstein emphasizes that a failure to reduce our reliance on fossil fuels may lead to the collapse of modern civilization, as we know it. The clock is ticking, and the time has come for us to take action and adopt sustainable, innovative energy solutions for a secure and thriving future.